Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're really, really well on this Wednesday. Yep, I had to double check. Wednesday afternoon. Uh, this is just going to be a really quick video for everyone who's asked me about iodine over the last few days. I hope you can hear me. I'm doing this on my phone because my laptop doesn't like to cooperate ever. Um, so we're going to just really fast go through iodine. So iodine, this is the one that I use. It's called Lugol's solution. So Lugol's pretty much is a very strong form of iodine. So it'll say 2%. And we're always looking for that Lugol's 2% when we buy iodine. When we buy iodine like this, this is the strongest form of iodine that you can get. This is the iodine that they use in hospitals. Um, this form of iodine, when it's Lugol's or 2% iodine, it's a blend of uh, potassium iodide and elemental iodine. So the most effective iodine basically. Some of you had posted pictures of other iodines that you were considering getting um, and I hate to say no to people and I didn't comment on a few of them um, because I knew I was going to do this video. Hey Nicole, good reminder. Yeah, I do it all the time. So um, when you go with other iodines that are maybe cheaper, which is the only reason why I see people go with other iodines. Their blends and they're not as concentrated, so they're not as efficacious. You need to use a lot more of them to get the same benefits as you would from a 2% Lugol's. Now this bottle, um, and there's other brands of Lugol's that you can get. Lugol's is the type of iodine that you can get. And for this bottle, you're looking at about $30, $35, which is a really good price considering I got this iodine maybe two or three years ago. And right now it's just below where the label is here. So because of the way you're using it for $30, $35, it's going to last you years. Um, and this can also be used to heal wounds and clean wounds. So it is an antiseptic and it's even safe to use on animals if you needed to. Um, you could clean with it, but I probably wouldn't because it's gonna stain. It'll stain your clothes, by the way, so just be careful with that. Anyway, so I do always recommend Lugol's because the other brands, unless it says 2% Lugol's, they're not efficacious. You need to use a lot more to get the benefits of the iodine so then how you would apply so iodine can cause some people to have upset stomach when they take it orally and i've never recommended to take iodine orally any way that i recommend oral iodine is usually in the form of a good sea salt or um, a kelp shaker um, and then seafood if people are getting seafood of course so that's usually how they'll get their iodine and some of my clients will take spirulina and some other algaes and they'll get a bit of iodine there and you will get a bit of iodine in some animal meats and a little bit in eggs but anyway so when you take this sort of iodine orally, it can give some people side effects like nausea, diarrhea, stomach ache. Some people might get a headache. Um, but I've never recommended that people take it orally because it's too hard to monitor dosages and make sure that people are getting not too much because you don't want too much, but just enough. So I've always recommended that you do iodine topically. Um, and how you do iodine topically, it's very straightforward. So you're going to, what I do, this is exactly what I do, and I recommend it to most of my clients. It's quite simple. So you're going to take the lid off. I'm going to put it back on just to show you because I already did my iodine earlier. So you're going to take the lid off, and then you're going to press, put your arm on top of it. And then you're going to tilt your arm and you're just going to draw a line. Make sure you keep it close to your arm because when iodine does like leak or drip somewhere, it will stain. Um, so you'll draw a line. I usually go up and down two or three times and then you'll tilt your arm again and you take it away and you put the lid back on. And the first two times can be tricky, but then it's quite easy. So then you're going to monitor 
the iodine. So if you do that at 8 a.m., then you're going to watch how long does it take that iodine to disappear off your skin. So you will have like an orange or a yellow mark. If anyone's seen me out and about or in the gym, you'll always see. I always do it on my left arm because I'm right-handed. Um... And sometimes I think I carry a lot more toxicity on the left side of my body. It seems to be my weaker side of my body. Um, so you'll always see I have some sort of yellowy orange streak on my arm. So you're going to time that. And if that disappears, so if the iodine completely disappears in a couple of hours or less than 12 hours, then you know that your body needs more iodine. You're basically deficient. And there's many benefits for iodine. It's a very important mineral. It protects your thyroid. It binds to toxins. It supports the liver. It helps with metabolism. It does a lot of stuff. Um, if it does vanish then, in less than 12 hours, then you know, okay, I have quite a deficiency. Um, so then you would do it again the next morning. And then as it starts to last longer than 12 hours, then you know, okay, I'm topped up now. And then you can start to go maybe every second or third day of doing iodine. And I think that's quite safe to do it that way. Um, I was shown a client this morning that I did my iodine this morning. I think I did it at 8.30. By the time I spoke to her, I think at 10.30, my iodine was completely gone. Now, why would that happen? Well, your iodine will get depleted really fast if there's a high demand for it in your body. So if there's a lot of stress or if there's a lot of toxicity attacking your body, especially your thyroid. Um, if you exercise very hard, if you train very hard, if you have a lot of muscle, you will burn through iodine pretty fast. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are my heavy, heavy weight training days. So I burn through iodine really fast on those days. Um, and that's the cause for mine depleting so fast. And I'm not too worried about it because my nutrition's really good. I'll do it again in the morning. Um, but that's just to give you an example. If you find it's depleting really fast, you want to look at all the different scenarios and variables. If you're new to iodine, like today was your first day or tomorrow is your first day and your iodine vanishes pretty much in the first couple of hours, you know that chances are it's because you are iodine depleted or deficient because you've never supplemented with it before. Maybe your diet is depleted or low in iodine. So you'll you'll know that you just need to do it a couple of times. I don't really advise doing it twice in one day. I don't think there's a need. I'd rather slowly titrate it. So if you did it this morning and it, it vanished in two or three or six hours, whatever it was, and then do it again tomorrow morning and keep doing that over the days until it's completely topped up and you'll know it's topped up if at 12 hours you can still see some remnants of the iodine on your skin, then you know that you're completely topped up and then you don't have to do it every day. You can do it maybe every third day going forward and you just keep an eye on it. When you do it on your skin, it gets directly into your bloodstream, which I really like because it obviously bypasses the digestive system. It bypasses the liver because I don't like to put too much strain on the liver sometimes, especially if there's a lot of toxicity going on. And so when you do it on your skin, it goes directly into your bloodstream. And from there, it'll start working directly with the platelets, any toxicity that might be there directly with the thyroid. Um, and that way it can be more efficacious. And obviously you don't get the side effects when you do it topically either. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's another thing as well, though. You don't have to do it on your arm the way I do it. I, If you know me, I just take the easy way out of everything. I just, let's just do it. Let's get it done. I don't care who sees what. But um, if you don't want people seeing your yellow bruise or mark, you can always put it somewhere inconspicuous, like on your leg, underneath your leggings. Um, if some people will do it on their feet. Some people will do it on the soles of their feet. Um, so you can really do it anywhere that you want. Um, I just do it on my arm. So once it's on the skin, it's getting directly absorbed into the bloodstream. Um, 
and that's about it. So there's a couple of things, like apart from the toxicity and stuff I've been talking about the last few days with iodine deficiencies, um, you if you have painful breasts around PMS or your period, that can be a sign that iodine is deficient. If you are starting to lose your hair or a lot of hair is coming out or you're exposed to a lot of stress and your skin and your nails are just not looking their best. If you have low energy, they can all be signs of iodine deficiency. Um, so but definitely one that people are not aware of is if you get aches or pains or even lumps around your breasts, around PMS or your menstruation, that can be an iodine deficiency and applying iodine can pretty much clear that up really fast. Um, a lot of people don't know that and obviously iodine is important for the thyroid as well. Um, and then... I think that's about it. I mean, if anyone has any questions, they can ask below and I'll be happy to answer as always. But I think that's all I have to say on iodine. Like I said, this one bottle should last a couple of years. So it does look expensive if you're buying it on Amazon or whatever for $30, $35. But in the grander scheme of things, it's not expensive and it's multifunctional and it's high quality. Um, so if you have any questions about iodine and anything else, ask me um but i really like iodine i try to do it all the time i do attribute it to um oh that's what i wanted to say i do attribute it to my good health and my energy but i don't like to do iodine late in the day generally if it's after 4 p.m i don't like to do iodine because iodine can directly stimulate the cells and the metabolism it could keep you up. It could interfere with your sleep, just like B12s can do. And I'm even apprehensive with vitamin D3 being taken later in the day as well. Anything that might stimulate cellular activity and metabolism, I don't like to do that after a certain time of the day. So it, uh, most people have sleep issues now. So you're best off doing it first thing in the morning. I wouldn't do it later in the day because it can be a stimulant. Um, that's what I wanted to say. But otherwise, if you have any questions about iodine, let me know. I hope you found that helpful and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye everyone.